Sign up for Shopify by starting your two-week trial or choosing a plan that works for you. Follow the prompts to create your profile. To start selling your books through your Shopify store, you will begin by creating a product. Click on Products, then click Add Product. Give your product a title, description, and add product photos under Media. Add the price in the pricing box. Leave the Charge Tax on this product box checked. Under Inventory, uncheck the Track Quantity box. Under Shipping, set the weight of your product as one pound. We will use this later when setting up shipping options. Click Save at the bottom. Then change the status of the product to Active at the top of the page. Click Save again. Navigate to the Shopify App Store by clicking Apps on the left side of the page. Click Visit the Shopify App Store, then search for Lulu Express. Locate the app from the search results and click on it. Then click Add App. Follow the prompts to add the Lulu Express app to your store. If you do not have a Lulu.com account, click Register and create one now. Once you're signed into the Lulu Express app, navigate back to your Shopify products and click into the product you created earlier. At the top right, click on More Actions, then Connect with Lulu Express. This will drop you into the product configurator. In this instance, we will be creating a book project. Leave Book as the product type and drag your interior PDF into the Interior Upload box. Once your interior PDF is uploaded and approved, you will be able to choose the specs of your project. Continue choosing your book options, then upload your cover by dragging your cover PDF into the Cover Upload box. After your cover PDF is uploaded and approved, you can review your print-ready PDFs and view a live preview of your book. Once you've completed your project configuration, the Save button will be clickable at the bottom of the page. Click Save. Now you have your Shopify product connected to a Lulu project. The next step is to set up your shipping options. Lulu now offers the option to automatically pass our shipping costs directly to your customers. If you have Shopify Plus, the advanced Shopify plan, or would like to pay an additional fee to enable this feature, it can be found on the Lulu Express settings page. Click into the app, click on More Actions, then Settings. Simply scroll to the bottom and click Connect to Lulu's Live Shipping Rates. If you would like to set up your shipping options manually, navigate to Shopify Settings at the bottom left corner, then click on Shipping and Delivery. Now you'll create a shipping profile that only includes the products that are connected to your Lulu Express projects. Next to Custom Shipping Rates, click Create New Profile. Name it something like Lulu Books, then click Add Products. Add all of your Lulu connected products, then click Done. Click Save on this page. Once you have your profile set up and products added, you'll then create your shipping zones. Click Manage Rates next to the custom shipping option you just created. Click Create Shipping Zone. Each shipping zone will correspond with the country to which your products are shipped. For this example, I will set up a United States shipping zone. Before continuing, open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the Lulu Pricing Calculator. Enter your book details in the calculator, then scroll down to Book Shipping Estimator. We'll use this estimator to set our Shopify shipping prices according to what Lulu charges for shipping. Back to Shopify. You will now add your customer-facing shipping rates for each shipping zone we created earlier. Under the shipping zone you created, click the Add Rate button and choose Set Up Your Own Rates. Let's set up a mail option within the US. For the shipping speed, select Custom Flat Rate. Under Rate Name, we'll title the first option Mail. For the price, navigate back to the Lulu Pricing Calculator tab. The calculator indicates that shipping one copy of any book via mail in the U.S. will currently cost $4.94. Back to Shopify. 
Now that you know what your cost will be, you can decide what you would like to charge your customers for one copy shipped to the US. In this example, I simply want to pass on Lulu's cost to my customer, so I will put $4.94 in the price field. Next, we want the shipping price to correspond with the number of copies the customer purchases. You can do this with rate conditions. Click on Add Condition below the rate name and price fields. The easiest way to do this is to base your shipping prices on the item weight. Remember that we have set our Shopify product to weigh one pound. Therefore, in the minimum weight field, leave it as zero. In the maximum weight field, put one pound. This will ensure that whenever a customer has one book in their cart, they will be charged $4.94 if they choose mail shipping. Click Done. It can get tedious to add a shipping rate for every possible quantity. One way to get around this is to group quantities together. For example, let's set up our next shipping rate for two to five copies. Click Add Rate, choose Custom Flat Rate, and enter Mail again. In the Lulu Shipping Estimator, we see that the price to ship five books is $7.94. Enter this price into the price field then click Add Conditions. Enter two pounds for the minimum weight and five pounds for the maximum weight. This will ensure that the user is charged $7.94 for shipping if they have between two and five copies of the book in their cart. Continue to set up a rate for six to 10 copies, then 11 to 20, and so on. You will repeat these steps for all of the shipping options you would like to offer. In most cases, it is helpful to have at least one other shipping method besides mail, such as ground or express. The process is the same for setting up those options. Click Save when you are finished setting up your shipping rates. After you've set up all of your customer-facing shipping options in Shopify, you will want to make sure those options are mapped correctly in the Lulu Express app to ensure Lulu ships your order with the correct shipping method. Navigate to the Express app and click More Actions, and then Settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, and you'll see the shipping options you've set up in Shopify. They will default to Automatic Mapping. However, we recommend clicking into each option and mapping it directly to the Lulu shipping method you would like to use. Click Save. Now that you have your product connected and shipping options created, Let's test to make sure everything is set up correctly by placing a test order within Shopify. Navigate to the Shopify Orders dashboard. Click Create Order. Click the search box under Find or Create a Customer, then click Create a New Customer. Enter your shipping details, or any address you choose, then click Save Customer. Search for the Shopify product you would like to order by using the search bar, or click Browse Products and select the product from there. Once you have selected your book, choose a shipping option, then click Mark as Paid near the bottom of the page, then Create Order. Next, click back to the Lulu Express app and click Orders near the top of the page. The order you just created should show a status of unpaid. If the order arrives in the Express app as invalid, you may have some troubleshooting to do. Go over these steps once more and ensure everything is connected properly. From here, you can either pay for the order in the Lulu Express app and let it print and ship to you as a test copy of your book, or you can cancel it. You should now have everything you need to begin selling with the Lulu Express app.